Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. So it's been bothering me. Yes, we do have a seat and it's cushioned, but it's blue. Kind of stands out a lot, you know what I mean? And also you got this duct tape around here and stuff. And there's seams here where if it was left outside, it would probably, water would make its way into the foam. So I kind of want to cover it up with something, something that's not blue. So I have this old <laughs> shower curtain and it's waterproof and it's pretty strong and flexible. So I figured I would, I could spray some adhesive spray throughout the entire bench and then cover it up, fold it over, staple the back to the wood. At least it would be blue, uh, green and not blue and waterproof. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So this comes off really easily. Um, on the bottom, it's just uh, connected on with these clip tabs that came with the uh, thing. And uh, this left side driver side armrest has these grooves that go down that attach to grooves onto the machine. I'll show you. That holds right in there. So it's secure and won't move around, you know? So that's good. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do about this. I've never really upholstered anything this big before, so we'll see what happens.
we go. A lime green shower curtain transforming that bright blue into this. Now there's at least no seams and duct tape visible. Eh, you know, there's a lot of wrinkles and stuff in the areas. It was ex especially difficult to obviously get it over the armrest, you know, especially difficult, but there's no way around it, you know. <laughs> I could just remove the armrest and forget about it, but I kind of like the idea of having the armrest and you saw how I put the cup holder right into the hole, you know, so that looks pretty good. Uh, look, it's one color. It's covering up the seams and the cutout parts and the duct tape. We, you saw I used the staple gun and uh, basically stretched everything on the bottom, covered it up with duct tape so that the staples uh, wouldn't get rusty eventually from moisture. It still will, but less so with the duct tape around it. Uh, and the backing works good too. So you know what? Um, because my plan is to paint this thing uh, probably desert green or camouflage, Having it at least this green is better than it being blue, you know. So if I decide to do camouflage, the green will fit right in. And it's a more of a neutral color than that blue. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you know, it could have been better. But look, uh, I fabricated this from garbage from the street. So you got to look at this as like, this is a big win. You know what I mean? Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me on this uh, bench seat fabrication upholster. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey y'all, it's Kylie here and we'll see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.